my biggest win to date. Um, there's been a couple, but I would say the most uh, significant would be I was the first female, excuse me, the first female jockey to win the Queen's Plate, which is Canada's Kentucky Derby. So it's a pretty significant feather in my cap. I'm quite proud of that. Ooh, that is too tough a question. Um, there's been too many. Um, Frankel. Between between Frankel and Black Caviar were very impressive. Um, yes, there's some North American horses that, uh, especially in recent American Pharaoh, but uh, Frankel is a horse I would like would like to meet actually. It's different. It's different. It's a great way to change things up a little bit. Keeps it interesting, fresh, and fun, and uh, brings some international talent uh, from all over the world to one stage and just changes it up, and I think it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a good time. I enjoy being a part of it. Uh, it's very different. It's amazing how uh, a, a game of just horse racing, uh, you know, a rider and a horse, and seeing which one's faster can be so different from continent to continent. But uh, it's very different. Uh, different uh, style in terms of riders and how they ride, as well as pace makeup, uh, all the way down to the distances. Uh, North Americans much more speed and, and sprint oriented, uh, whereas the uh, UK is a little bit more geared towards the stayers and the longer distances. Um, I do like a, a, a longer type of race, it, it sort of lends itself a little bit more to tactics, but uh, I will appreciate a, a, a good 5'8 sprinter is, is, is uh, something I, I can appreciate. I do like the 5'8 sprinters here as well because they don't come away from the gates quite as quick, but they have quite the flourish late, which is very interesting. It's different from what we're used to. It's a very good question. Um, Dubai World Cup. It's uh, internationally renowned and respected by horsemen on, uh, on all continents, and I think that's uh, significant. <laughs> Blake, Blake's answer was, is pretty, pretty recent. Um, most embarrassing moment on the race course. I do remember I stood up at the wrong wire when I was in New Orleans once. They have the, the different wires for the different distances and, and I swore I'd never be that jockey that did that. And, and I did stand up and went, oh wait, and had to readjust. So, But uh, it wasn't nearly as embarrassing as one Blake's or as when some other famous jockeys have done misjudged the wire in some bigger races as well. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. More than ever. Last year's goal was to, to have that elusive winner at Ascot, and I, I got that and another one and almost another one. So hopefully we can have the, the, the same kind of success. The goal is to put the, the girls on the top of the charts. And, uh, you know, we have a good team. Sammy Jo Bell replacing Kathy. Was, is, she's uh, able and qualified, I believe, and she's up for the challenge as a young rider. Haley Turner is one of the mainstays, and I'm very happy to have her in my corner on my team as well. So uh, look out, boys. Here we go. William Hill, the home of betting.